Hello everyone. In this video, we will create a simple login application using text fields and a login button. We'll be working on the last tutorial project. I just changed the background image to make everything clear. Now we will add a UI text field to our view. We look for the text field element. Okay, we resize it. And we, we, sh we need to add the title for the text field. We add the UI label, we resize it, and we change the label text to username. Okay, so here is our username field. We should add another for the password. We start by adding the title label, resize it to make the same width of the username field, change the text to password, capital ITP, okay, we press on command to select both fields and align them to the right to make it look better, okay, we can add now the UI text field, this will be for password, resize it to make the same width with the other text field. Okay, now we should add a, a placeholder. This will be a hand for the user. Enter password. Same thing, same for the username field. Enter username. Okay. Okay, so we select both text fields and change the background. Here we have some text field properties and for the password field we must make sure we enable the secure text entry checkbox this will hide the the password while editing okay we go to our .h file here we will declare two UI text fields properties we saw that in the previous tutorials these properties must be declared with the IB outlet keyword to be able to link it to the NFS builder copy paste this line and we change the property name to password field we should also declare an IP action method for our login button this will be perform login okay okay we have what you need now we link it we link this element to our action and our properties this is the name password field we link the touch up inside to our file owner and the method perform login. Okay. Okay, we're done here. We go to our .m file. Here we should implement our perform login method. Now we will check if the user is entering the correct credentials to access to other screens so if the username field text is equal to our pass to our username and the password field text is equal to our password that means that the login succeeded correct credentials else that means that the, the user no, no. that means that the user entered incorrect username or password Okay, 
So we need to set, we need to create a fake username and a fake password variables in the in the dot each file. Okay. We go to our view the load method and set these strings values. This will be our fake username for password. We will set for instance password. Okay. Okay. Pass these variables to the is equal to string method and we're done. Should select now In this block, we will display a UI alert view. We saw that in the first tutorial. We end it with a title and message. Login succeeded. Correct. Credentials. We don't need to delegate for the cancel button we will say OK and no need to other buttons. We send that to Neil and we display our alert. OK, same thing for the login failure, we just change the the alert view title and the message. Set it to incorrect password. Copy paste. Okay. Okay, now we select our simulator and run the application. Okay, here is our app. Just entered around credentials. Now we will enter the right username and password but there will, there will be a problem we will not be able to to hide the keyboard clicking on return doesn't hide the keyboard also when clicking on other areas in the interface doesn't hide the keyboard and the keyboard is hiding our login button so we need to add a method that allow us to hide the keyboard when we tap anywhere else in the interface so we add a button this will receive the hide keyboard action we make it cover all the view area, make it a custom button, clear the title, and change the keyboard, and change the button background to clear color. Yeah. Okay. In the .h file, we need to declare an IB action method that will be responsible of hiding the keyboard. And we implement that in the, in the .m file. First, we need to make sure that our button is pushed to the back and is not preventing interaction with our with other elements. We implement the hide keyboard method from the M file. We will use the resign first responder of the UI text field object. Okay. Self dot username field. We call resign first responder. Same thing for the password field. 
we design the first responder. Okay. Now we run. Before we run, we need to link our button to the hide keyboard method. We can do that also from here. Same thing. Run the app. Enter the credentials. And click on the interface to see the login button. Thank you for watching. See you next tutorials. Bye bye.